Jeez, man, this thing, the Scorpius Rex, is so ugly, but I reckon that's what makes it so cool. I loved it. Heaps of people are saying it's ugly, and they're like, that's a bad thing. No, that's what makes it monstrous and just so awesome. Anyway, <laughs> that's not the point of today's video, even though E750, I really do like how monstrous the design is. Um, I want to talk about the components that make up the... Scorpius Rex. So let's get on into that. And yeah, where to begin? There's a lot of creatures I think make up the genetic code of E750. Obviously, not as many as Indominus Rex, but there's a decent amount for. Because the main reason we're talking about this is because it's what would be implemented into games, I reckon. Like, we all want to know. How are we going to create this thing in games? Jurassic World Alive, the game, evolution, etc. Future games and whatnot. So, let's first talk about the face. That is like, um, I reckon a blend of Carnotaurus and Spinosaurus, right? It's, it's really long, meaning it looks like a Carnotaurus head basically but then when it's like tilted on its side it's really skinny and elongated kind of like a spinosaurus snout right we've also got um the fact that it is drawn to fire or just really warm like temperature because it senses things through heat signature we see a lot through its eyes the red vision of seeing alive creatures with that body temperature basically one of the, a creature in real life that has a trait like that is a snake, but I, look, it could be a snake, but I reckon they would have said it. It's similar to how it, it's in a lot of cat poses as well, or panther, how it climbs the trees and stuff, how it climbed the post, but I don't, I reckon they would have said something maybe if it was along those lines. They definitely did say stuff about in fact, they only, they never said what dinosaurs were in its genetic code. I think it was mentioned in, back in Season 1, but the only creatures mentioned in its genetic code were two animals that live in normal, normal day, right now, in the present. And one of those, actually, was the tree frog. But that's kind of like common sense. We've known that f from the beginning of Jurassic Park. Most, um creatures have frog in their DNA code basically just to fill in the gaps but let's talk about the dinosaur DNA code I'll get back to tree frog later because there's a cooler aspect that's talked about about the tree frog and why it is mentioned anyway I reckon it's got to be like T-Rex DNA and it's more like a mental state that the T-Rex gives to it maybe the bite force is what T-Rex helps with in the DNA code, there's not really much you can see from the T-Rex that's in this, but actually, hang on, let me talk about it a bit later, I reckon for now, we talk about that there's Velociraptor in the DNA code, which, I mean, it's kind of obvious, we've got the toe claw and everything, but yeah, you know, I want to talk about the tree frog and the Tyrannosaurus, so let's just show the picture. If you watched it, you know there are two E750s. And it's not they were created at the same time. It's the fact one is a mother of the other E750, I believe. Which is really weird how fast it grew, firstly. Um, which brings into the tree frog and T-Rex thing. But we have also see the legs here. They look extremely velociraptor. -like. like... Look at them, even though they're super skinny, like how'd they get that skinny, but still. Anyway, the T-Rex thing here is that, similar to the Indominus Rex, and what was mentioned in Season 1, um, big apex predators, that, like T-Rex, they just go at each other, they fight for dominance basically, so I reckon it's more of like an internal thought process that the T-Rex has, even though, actually, and that's... Probably what, because Dr. Wu said the E750 Scorpius Rex goes from aggressive 
to passive and maybe it's the fact that the peanut sized brain of the T-Rex is you know <laughs> affecting that making it dumb but the tree frog DNA in it right Darius says in the series I don't know if I'll use the word he said I reckon I'll say parthenogenesis, which is a form of creating like a baby by yourself you don't need a partner to do it and that's basically what E750 did and this also brings blue back into the picture not just any velociraptor but blue in the game Jurassic World Aftermath it was stated blue could had parthenogenesis however you want to say it and meaning blue could be able to make her own offspring and that's what E750 has done Darius said they did it through the frog DNA, which allowed them to produce babies on their own, but I think it's not that, and he might have gotten it wrong, because I have read upon it, and amphibians can produce through parthenogenesis, but in the original Jurassic lore, Jurassic Park, the original movie, the thing was that it would just change the gender of the animal, so they could be males and breed with the females. But this time, I reckon Blue's DNA has effect on the Scorpius Rex. Even though Tree Frog, look, maybe the combination of Tree Frog and Blue's DNA, which is African black throat monitor lizard, which they can undergo parthenogenesis. So maybe the combination of that allows for the super parthenogenesis. It can instantly recreate another version of itself basically so yeah i definitely reckon that there are so many theories and basically my main ones were thrown off indominus rex plus scorpio ovinator sea scorpion yeah indominus rex in the series they say scorpius rex was the first hybrid before indominus rex which gives a reason why it's more mutated and weird and ugly and not perfected like the Indominus Rex was meant to be. Um, so, yeah, it was before Indominus Rex. Does not have Indominus in the genome at all. Can't camouflage, unfortunately. And Scorpio Venator, Scorp Sea Scorpion, we're wondering how does Scorpius Rex have those quills to poison? And it was none of those. And it, the name is still given by something that has Scorpion in the name, which is the scorpion fish now you can really see right there how it gets the scale on the back basically the spikes too and you know i was actually doing my research on this thing right the um scorpion fish uh people have who have like accidentally stepped on it they say they feel like a severe sting in their foot and they actually said and they do this in the series the best way to deal with it is to pull out the stingers, the quills, and then wash it with warm water. So it's extremely awesome to just see them putting in that extra effort of making it more realistic, like an actual scorpion fish and doing their research. So Sammy actually did say in the series it felt like being jabbed by a porcupine, but I think we can remove porcupine from the equation and just say it is the scorpion fish that makes up the DNA, which Dr. Wu says that name what was what, what did he say exactly the name code of the genome was scorpion fish something like that yeah by the end scorpius rex does meet its defeat by episode 8 i was expecting it to live longer kind of actually there was this one i think i do think i said somewhere along the lines i'd expect it to die somewhere not at the exact end but a couple of episodes before anyway the last part of the series, we see a door and we hear a baby Scorpius Rex. It it really sounds like a, you know, squeakier version of that roar. I reckon it's a baby. There's a third one. They, they underwent, underwent, undertook parthenogenesis, and there's another Scorpius Rex. But basically, to end things all off, what, what do I reckon is confirmed for Scorpius Rex genome? I reckon T-Rex. Blue the Velociraptor, not just any Velociraptor, Blue, Spinosaurus, Carnotaurus, Tree Frog, as you can see on the screen, and as Dr. Wood does say, the Scorpion Fish.
So I really would like to see how these are implemented into games. These, I reckon, new game features, definitely. I'm not exactly sure we'll see scorpion fish in games being fused into it, but I reckon we'll get a new game mechanic in all different games, where you fuse Carnotaurus, Spinosaurus, Blue, and T-Rex to get the Scorpius Rex. I also wonder, will there be a Gen 1 and 2 just because there were color variations? I reckon there'll be a Gen 1 only, which was the original black and yellow one. The one in front here is blue and yellow, but you get the picture, basically. It was, like, the newest one, and the original was in it. Obviously longer than the grey-blue one, but yeah, I reckon that's what we're getting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your theories, what you think about below, and I'll catch you all later. I really hope you all enjoyed Season 3. I loved it. I can't wait for more. I'll see you all later, everyone. Bye.